Hello in this video we will discuss about cell cycle as well as mitosis. So the mitosis is basically we will understand about the somatic cell. So how to divide somatic cell we will discuss. So first of all we should need to understand about the cell cycle. So what is that? Basically here is I am drawing the cell which that contains receptor. This receptor and inside the nucleus contains DNA. So a receptor which that is the mitogen receptor and ligand can be bind the interleukin and tumor growth factor, insulin like growth factor 1 and 2. After the binding will trigger the DNA to translate, transcribe and translate the protein for that protein uh, using for the cell division and cell cycle. So let's begin to understand first of all the cell cycle. So this is the S phase. Before the S phase, the G1 phase will be occur, but we will also discuss. So here is the mitogen will bind and the inside them after the mitogen binding to the cycling A, cycling A and cycling, uh, cycling uh, dependent kinase 2, which that will be bind together after the transcription. So we will discuss also. So to checkpoint of S phase after this complete phase. And this is the synthesis phase. In this phase, the DNA will become double. So in this way here is after this complete the checkpoint, the G2 phase will be occur. The G2 phase basically is the cyclin B and cyclin dependent kinase 1, which that will be bind together to activate this phase. And this phase, the G2 phase, which that will lead to uh, end of the G2 phase, the checkpoint to begin the M phase, mitotic phase. M phase contain many processes. So in this way the M phase is also the meiotic phase which that is used for the special gamete for formation due to the half number of chromosome will remain uh, in, uh, half uh, hap haploid from the diploid. So this is the diploid. Diploid means the chromosome number will be double and remain double in the mitosis. So here you can see this is after the M phase that is the um, cell divide and after this division this, um, before this the checkpoint will be occur and after this division is known as the cytokinesis and karyokinesis the karyokinesis and cytokinesis to produce many many cell and in this way this is the stem cell for example will become a specialized cell after this G0 phase. So this is the mitogen will bind again to again cell enter into the G1 phase. So the G1 phase require the uh, here is the mitogen after binding the mitogen will trigger the retinoblastoma protein will bind with the E2F will be separate after the phosphorylation and E2F will be activate as a transcription factor to translate that protein which that is required. For example, the CDK2 and cyclin E and cyclin D and CDK4 and 6 will bind respectively to trigger the G1 phase, the growth 1 phase. And in this way, the cell will become a grow and mitochondria double and chloroplast as well if the plant. So here is the G0 phase, which that is differentiation. To proliferation and after this differentiation to proliferation the specialized cell formation from the stem cell if not occur so the stem cell again divide as a somatic cell and the peripheral cell so uh, the special cell produce after this complete the cell age the cell apoptosis will be occur so i hope you make sense about this cell cycle so let's begin to understand this is the uh, M mitotic phase or M phase. In this way the first initial step is basically contain prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So the prophase is basically is contain uh, basically the preparation. And in this way this basically after the G2 phase that is used for the here is a condensing chromosome with two chromatids held together with a centromere so the kinetochore are present inside so the centromere a mere means smaller apart centromere centrum and here is the plasma membrane and cytoplasm and developing the bipolar spindle 
so the bipolar spindle will becoming uh, develop and this is in the form of the two um two um developing bipolar spindle which contain centrioles so the two centrioles are present so after this the pro phase the pro meta phase will be occur in this way the chromosome will moving toward the meta phase plate so the what is meta phase plate that is the uh basically is the central plate which that develop and the chromosome will align together and in this way the ester formation will be occur with the spindle pole so the spindle pole will bond with the side walls with the plasma membrane we are not going to a uh, detail but you can understand as well here is the kinato core micro tubule which that is bond with the chromosome and the polar micro tubule which that is arise from the poles of the cell arise from the centrioles arise from the spindle pole a uh, centrioles sorry so nuclear anovale fragment are present in the cell which that is after the degradation of the nucleus due to the enzymatic activity phosphatase enzyme and lipase enzyme there are a lot of enzyme which that is break the phospholipid of bilayer of phospholipid nuclear membrane so after this here is you can see this is the meta phase meta phase is the complete the late meta phase and in this way the kinato core micro tubule will bind and in this way the nuclear anovale fragment will remain here but here is the ester formation at pole but the polar micro tubule will bind with the centromere the kinato core after this binding so suppose the humans contain 46 chromosome in the form of pair 23 which that is half is come from the female and half is come from the male during the fertilization and the maternal and paternal chromosome in the form of diploid so the kinato core and micro tubule is here and this is the meta phase and let's begin to understand the mechanism of the separation in the mitosis and meiosis so first of all meiosis we are not understanding the meiosis but i will make uh, another video regard to the my meiosis but this is the mitosis mitosis is the number of chromosome will remain same for example diploid so in this way here is the gain cell which that is the centromere will move and capture and in this way the polar micro tubule bind with the chromosome uh, with the centromere through a kinato core that's basically is the a uh, kinato core micro tubule and in this way here is the shortening shortening a uh, kinato core micro tubule after the shortening it pull toward the pole of the cell where the uh, spindle pole are present where the centrioles is present so it is the centrioles in the form of pair so it will move and this is the anaphase anaphase is meaning the chromosome will move toward the pole for the separation so this is the chromosome chromosome contain a sister chromatids during the division so here is the centromere so this is the chromosome let's begin to understand the mitosis mechanism so first first of all the 46 chromosome will become a 92 chrom chromatids but the 46 chromosome but 92 chromatids will be separate again to produce a 46 again a diploid diploid and this is the two so the diploid will remain constant but in the case of here is you can see and meiosis which that will means the 92 chromatids will be formed and after the crossing over the shuffling of the gene to each other during the chiasma formation is known as the crossing over after the crossing over the 46 chromosome and 46 will become in the meiotic uh, meiosis 1 meiosis 1 and after this meiosis one is basically the same as a mitosis but the crossing over will be occur and after this meiosis two which that gamete will haploid and haploid the special gamete formation so the number of chromosome will be half 
and the four gametes can be produced so after this ana phase what will be happen the telophase will be occur this telophase means the chromosome will move toward the pole completely and the uh, unraveling the unraveling the chromosome formation and in this way the nuclear and will are preforming around the individual chromosomes uh, individual cell this is known as the karyokinesis because the karyon mean nucleus and the karyokinesis will be occur due to the beginning of the nuclear and will of development so this is the polar microtubule this is the polar microtubule will remain the center of the divided cell so the unraveling chromosome formation and after this is the telophase formation will complete and the karyokinesis will complete so the cytokinesis will begin cyto means cell the kinesis means the division of the cytoplasm so after the cytoplasm division how it's possible the contracting ring will be formed actin and myosin protein will come and the microtubule contain micro uh, tubulin protein so actin and myosin protein which that is rotate and in this way contractile ring formation or contractile belt formation will be occur and in this way here is a pair of centriole pair will be form again and this pair of the centriole is used for the next division so in this way here is the constrict constricting remain of polar spindle microtubules which that's contain tubule tubulin which that is used for further again Uh, and on the other hand, the here is the completed nuclear envelope surrounding the unraveling chromosome. After this, this is the complete division of the cell, is known as the cytokinesis, and it can be a uh, specialized with a further proliferation and a uh, uh, differentiation into the G zero phase, for example, the nerve cell, hepatocyte. or other many osteocytes so in this way here you can see this is the g0 phase will be occur or it is further divide more so the so the uh, so the increasing of the mitogen and increasing of the gene activation will lead to cause cancer due to the uncontrolled cell division but in this video we will not understand this was the cell cycle my and mitosis is the overview i hope you are getting this concept so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share bye